it's about time for me to make a quick video on the Pomodoro really quick little utility that we made one afternoon uh, and put in Tmux. People keep asking me about it, like, what are you talking about? Um, so the Pomodoro thing is is just, uh, first of all, what is Pomodoro? I mean, you guys have probably seen it. If you're around Twitch, you've, you've seen it a lot. Uh, there's a number of people that do co-working streams and they, they use the Pomodoro method, which is basically it's named after an app, a uh, tomato timer, which is like, a you know, like, a they, the way it works is you set it to 25 minutes then you take a five minute break. You do four of those. And at the end of that, you take a 15 minute break and you just keep repeating. And it's supposed, I don't, I mean, that's the lightweight version of it. I'm sure there's other stuff to talk about. There's no science behind it. It's just a common practice to, to break up your time. When I first saw it, I thought it was a bad idea to break up my coding time into 25 minute segments. I thought it was going to be a distraction. And I certainly have gone over that um, sometimes, but, but it's not, it's actually really good because it forces you five minutes is just long enough to stand up and you, you don't lose your, your train of thought. You can like still keep thinking about what you're doing and just stretch and walk around and you end up in it unlocking other things that you weren't thinking about because you stepped away from the problem for a bit or you were able to like really intensely think about the problem without having the keyboard right in front of you um uh, you can't obviously you can't do it the 25 every 25 minutes if you're in a meeting or something like that um but when you're like getting work done people use it, a lot of people students use it for studying uh and it, i mean it, it's just really popular and, and trendy right now and i saw a few people using it I was like, oh, let's try it so i went ahead and i made uh a, a tool that i just put pomo start and of course it's broken now because i don't have it installed um so i'm going to show you how to install it first of all so go get right uh uh github.com slash rwx rob slash uh cmd box slash or tab pomo and slash pomo and that should do it i hope it works okay so now I have Pomo and I can do Pomo start and and I get a little Pomodoro timer that's set as duration of 25 minutes. Uh, I can turn it off if it goes crazy. Uh, stop. It goes away. If you just do Pomo by yourself, it doesn't do anything because when Pomo is called without any arguments, it just prints out whatever its current value is. So to do that, I have to start it again so I can start it with like one minute. Uh, you can use uh, durations using go durations. They're pretty intuitive. Um, you know, minutes and seconds, all that. I can even do Pomo, uh, Pomo start, you know, three seconds, I think. Maybe not. <laughs> Let's try it one minute. Oh, it's already started. That's why. Pomo, actually, this is Pomo duration. Uh, is it duration? If you can tab and it'll do it. Actually, if you want tab completion, you have to do complete dash c pomo uh pomo and that will give you tab completion like a boss uh and you can do all your tab you can just hit tab and you see what you want to use there uh you can put that line in your bash rc and you'll have completion you don't have to mess with all the other completions because command box which i'm going to do a video on later uh command box which is sort of uh, uh i'm gonna do a video about it later but it gives you all that tab. it used to be called command tab now we're calling it command box because it's got a lot of things from BusyBox, if you know what that is. So Pomo, but it includes documentation. You can do Pomo help. Uh, uh, some of the documentation isn't working right now uh, because I'm switching over from command box. But it does tell you what what things you can type and everything uh, and and stuff. Um, in fact, there's I don't think there's any documentation for for like duration or anything, but it just gives you the usage and stuff. So eventually there'll be more there. You can take a look at that, but it's pretty straightforward. Duration just allows you to change duration. Uh, you can change it to, let's do two seconds. And there he goes. Now it's going to go, it gives you the warnings. Uh, you can set up the warning that it goes with it and next to it. Um, if you want, if you do Pomo uh, config, I think it's config. Is it config? can't remember if it's config. I don't think it is. Um, there is a uh, way to go edit. If you want to edit the file, it creates a file and dot config uh, slash pomo. Uh, 
and config.json, which is standard place to put stuff. And you can go in here and you can actually change these things if it's easier for you to just go in and change the JSON. Uh, you can mess with them that way. Uh, this this is what keeps track of everything. Uh, and internally, it's just messing with it. Uh, make it big tasks and, and sort of divide and conquer. I, I think it does. So it, it will yell at you uh, if it gets past the time. You can change those icons out. So if you want to, um, uh, you can change the emoji to something else. Um, I, I can see that one of the com commands is not being is not in the help right now. We need to put that in there. There's an emoji duration too that'll uh, give you. If you do a Pomo emoji, you, you can you can do like whatever. You can put a letter B there, and a letter use a letter B, right? Uh, and then again, if you want to edit this, I don't have a shortcut for this. So you just have to go in here and change it. So the Pomo emoji, the Pomo emoji that link, and. And we're actually, some people are going to help document this further on the README page. But until then, if you want to go read about it, here, here's the um, command box dash pomo page. And, and you can go follow it there if you want to see. There's a bunch of open tickets for it uh, for people who want to add stuff. I need to add binary releases so you don't have to just go get. Go get doesn't work for you because you have Go installed. And we want to do binary release a little bit. It's just a stupid little tool. Um, we want to add cumulative time, fix help and version, add file. I, we don't want it to get too, too out of control. There's there's a couple other tools out there that are really out of control. They're not just a timer anymore. They're like total time management. I, no, just don't. So um, the duration with the orgs has some problems. Um, we want it to blink when it's close to stop. Actually, we closed that one. That one's closed, man. I, we forgot to close that one. So let's do that. Issue, close... Um, wait, no, let's do close six, six could be closed, add granular emojis. We don't have that. We were going to have it. So like it gets rotten more, the little closer it, or the more it goes over, <laughs> there's a bunch of stuff like that that we could do. We, we need to pause. We really need to pause in there. Um, and we do have, we mostly have custom emojis in there right now. So I would say, I would say three is closed too. And we want to add some more in there. We can get that. So that's Pomo. It's not much. Pomo stop. Yeah. Pomo start. It'll go back to that one second thing. Uh, Pomo duration. Uh, duration 25, which is the default. Uh, and and there you go. So oh, it's just a fun little thing. Oh, I forgot to tell you how to put it in Tmux. So um, it's just, a lot of people look at this and they think it's a Tmux plugin. It's actually not a Tmux plugin. It's and this is covered in the README. Um, so if you want to add it, you just you add these lines to your um, to your Tmux RC file, and you know Tmux. If you if you know if you don't know how to configure Tmux, you need to look at that before you can understand that. But and this is just to get this exact line that I have right now. Is just, this sets up all of the stuff that goes on the status left, and then. This uh, is how you call out to a script, and so that calls the pomo command, um, and this interval sets it to one second. Uh, most computers are fine with the one second interval, but if you if you call pomo by itself, it gives you your seconds left. So I mean, if you didn't want that in your tmux, you don't need to have that. You can just put pomo on whenever you want to to see how many minutes you have left. Uh, otherwise, it just prints nothing. So that's how it's able to do that. So I think that's pretty pretty. Clean explanation. Does anybody have any questions? Um, anybody else out there have any questions uh, to go over? As otherwise, we'll just call it a day and go move on to the next thing. Uh, program, a program like this is actually really fun to make if you're looking for a project, by the way. So if you are, um, if, if you don't have an idea of what to do, Little tiny projects like this are a great way to kind of get confidence and get your feet under you. And and I actually have a number of open issues there. We've had uh, we had a couple of people um, do their first PRs and commits ever uh, to the Pomo timer. And I have a number of projects, by the way, that are not really significant projects, but they're significant enough that it will it will show you you get practice doing PR requests and getting used to the Git process, uh, you know, Git ops and that kind of thing. So if you you know, if you want to do that, let me know. Join our community. We have tons of, of projects that are that are fun and useful. 
Um, and we, we need the help. I mean, I, I got tons of things I could tell you that we need help for you to do, but you just got to step up and learn how to do that and learn how to take a PR and just know that no one's going to scream at you because you were a community here. This is a place to really come get your feet wet and try things out. And, and if you have any problems at all, we're all here to help you. And we'll just laugh if you mess it up. Besides with Git, you can't mess it up really, right? We could mess it up if I allowed it to be committed, but we can't mess up the PR request process. And that's something you should practice anyway. So come on in and give that a try. Try Pomo. Uh, but in the meantime, 